I welcome to the lab session on Young's Modulus Cantilever Method. The aim of the experiment is to determine the Young's Modulus of the material of the wooden bar by cantilever method. Apparatus required Travelling microscope Wooden bar with pin Slotted weights Reading lens Screw gauge and vernier calipers. Let us now see the experimental procedure. First we will understand what is meant by cantilever. A cantilever is a beam which is fixed at one end and a weight is loaded at the other free end. The Young's modulus of the material of the bar which is the cantilever is determined by finding the depression produced by the weight. So now this picture shows how to place the initial weight W is equal to 50 gram to the thread which is found below the cantilever. So after placing the initial weight W is equal to 50 gram below the thread which is found at one end of the cantilever you have to focus the pin which is found on the one end of the bar. Okay. This is a video illustration on how to focus the tip of the pin after loading initial weight W is equal to 50 gram. So after focusing the tip of the pin you have to take the corresponding MSR reading and the VSC reading. So these readings are illustrative readings. So in this reading you can see the MSR reading is equal to 8.75 cm and VAC reading is equal to 37 division. So you have to carefully note down the readings. So after which you have to add another 50 gram. Now the weight becomes W plus 50 gram. So left hand side you have a picture where it shows the weight now is W plus 50 gram for which you have to take the new MSR and VSC reading because by adding the weight there will be displacement in the cantilever due to depression. So you have to take the uh, reading which is newer one. So now in the right hand side picture you have you can see the illustrative readings for corresponding MSR and VSC reading. You have to take the MSR reading here it is 8.60 centimeter and its VSC is equal to 28 divisions. So after taking the reading for W plus 50, you have to follow the same procedure for W plus 100, W plus 150, W plus 200 and W plus 250 grams. In this picture you can see W plus 250 grams is loaded and the tip of the pin is being focused such that you have to determine the corresponding MSR reading and VSE reading. So after which you have to go for the unloading part. So you can note down the readings as shown in the tabular column. So in the tabular column you can find loading part and the unloading part. So in the loading part you can see you are doing the experiment for W, W plus 50, W plus 100, W plus 150, W plus 200 and W plus 250. So you can note down the corresponding MSR reading and the VSC values from which you can calculate the VSR and total readings for the loading part. For the weight W plus 250 grams, the reading should be copied in the unloading part and then you have to remove one weight from W plus 250 gram. So now the weight becomes W plus 200 gram for which you have to follow the similar procedure as described earlier to find the MSR reading and VSC reading. Next you have to again remove another 50 gram. Now the weight becomes W plus 150 for which you have to find out the MSR reading and VSC reading. Similarly you, you can remove 50 grams to find the MSR and readings 
and VAC readings for W plus 100 and then for W plus 50 and finally for W. So this is the procedure followed for unloading. So the experiment has to be carried for loading and unloading parts after which you should calculate the total reading from which you, you can find the mean of total reading of loading and total reading of unloading gives the mean values from which you can find out the successive difference which will give you the depression S for 50 kina. So the mean of the depression values is found out and put it in the last column. So mean S is equal to here 0.158 centimeter. So these readings are illustrative readings only. So after this main tabular column, you have to go for the determination of thickness of the bar using screw gauge experiment. So for determination of the thickness of the bar using screw gauge, you have to hold the screw gauge as position in this picture. Further, this is a video illustration on how to hold the screw gauge on the bar to find out its thickness. So now the readings has to be carefully noted down. So you have to note down the PSR value, HSE value from which HSR can be calculated. HSR is equal to HSE into least cone and then observe reading and correct reading by adding or subtracting the zero error. So now after making the zero error correction, you will be getting the value which represents the D value, which is the thickness of the bar determined by screw gauge experiment. So you can have uh, many such values taken for different positions of the uh, screw gauge held at the bar and you can find the mean D value which is the mean thickness determined for the bar using the screw gauge. Now after which you have to de determine the breadth of the bar using vernier caliper. So you have to hold the vernier caliper as positioned in this picture. This is again a video illustration how you, ha you can hold the vernier to find out the breadth of the bar. So you can note down the corresponding MSR reading and VSR reading, VSE reading and VSR is found out which is equivalent to VSE into least count from which you can find the total reading. So this total reading represents the B value which is nothing but the breadth of the bar. So you can take many such readings by placing the vernier on different positions and take the mean value which is the mean uh, B value which is mean breadth of the bar found out by using vernier caliper. Next we should find the length of the cantilever. The length of the cantilever L is the distance between the tip of the pin and edge of the clamp. After determining the L value we can go for the observations. So we want to note down all the observations which is length of the bar, uh, breadth of the bar, thickness of the bar, depression and the mass. Mass is 50 gram. Next calculation part. So we are using the formula y is equal to 4 mg L cube divided by S B D cube. The unit is Newton per meter squared where m is mass of the uh, weight which we are adding which is 50 gram and g is the gravity. L is the length of the cantilever. S the depression value. B is breadth of the bar and D is thickness of the bar. So after sub substituting all the these values in the given formula, we will be getting the Young's modulus value. So result Young's modulus of the material of the wooden bar is determined by the cantilever method. Hope you would have understood how to carry on the Young's modulus experiment and uh, to calculate the Young's modulus value of the material of the wooden bar by cantilever method. Thank you.